Hello, this is Weekly Fuzhou News episode number three. If you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe to the newsletter. Sign up to the newsletter if you want to receive additional information related to Fuzhou News and also be the first person to get notified when I have new content. So let's go ahead and get started with today's lesson. The first word we have is actually today. Today is Ding Nan. Ding Nan, Tian Ke Ya Ho. The weather is great today. The second word we have is yesterday. And yesterday is so man. So man. So man wa ya chong. Ya chong means sleepy. I was very sleepy yesterday. Next one we have is tomorrow. Tomorrow is mi ne ya. Mi ne ya. Notice that we have three sounds for this one. Mi ne ya. And the sentence we have is Mi ne ya yu. Tomorrow will rain. It will rain tomorrow. Which doesn't really happen often here. Does it happen often where you live? And next one we have is Bai Gui. Bai Gui literally means day of the week X. So we are asking for what day it is or like what day you might be going or do something. So for example, we have Nu Bai Gui called New Year. Which means on which day of the week are you going to New York? If you want to learn how to say the days of the week, you can check out one of my previous episodes. I will have the link in the description as well as on the screen so that you can click on it and review your days of the week. Next one we have is events or matter, which is da yi. Da yi. Ni minaya duo xiano da yi. What things do you need to do tomorrow? And the last one we have is Zhongbei. Zhongbei in here, in this example, I'm teaching it as plan, to plan something. So, Nu Zhongbei called dinner. Where are you planning on going to? Wow, it's so much shorter in uh, Fusionese. Nu Zhongbei called dinner. Literally, it means you plan to go where. And then the last one we have is for advanced learners. So the sentence is, Nu Zhongbei I'm a BC. BC BC is the English word. We just kind of say it in the Fuzhouni style. Are you busy recently? What do you need to do today? What about tomorrow? What are you planning on doing tomorrow? That's it for this week's lesson. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to sign up to the newsletter if you want to get notified right away when I have new contents out. And here are some other videos you might be interested in checking out if you haven't watched them already. And if you have, I mean, it's always good to refresh them, right? Okay, talk to you next week. Bye!